Today, we're in Normandy, France, a land of history, charm, and unforgettable experiences. We just returned from an incredible journey through Normandy, and we can't wait to share it with you. From La Havre to Deauville, and from Calvados to Omaha Beach and Pointe du Hoc. Join us as we explore the history, cuisine, and charm of Normandy, France, and provide a price breakdown of all of our expenses. Also, stay tuned until the end, where we give our wrap-up and recommendations for you if you're gonna visit Normandy, France. Our day began at Krakow Airport. Tay and I boarded a KLM City Hopper flight to Paris with a quick stop in Amsterdam. After we land in Paris, we're gonna pick up our rental car and hit the road, ready to begin our Normandy adventure. We have made it to Paris, rented a Peugeot 2005. And we are, we are on fire, folks. Welcome to France. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning from La Havre, La Havre, France. We've kind of just been lounging around this morning. We had breakfast downstairs the, in the hotel lobby. That was pretty decent. We're going to go for lunch here, which we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, the restaurant is a French one, a Tavern Pellier. Itself isn't super beautiful, I would say, right? But the places that we're going to be going to are very, very beautiful. So, the, but some of the restaurants are really good in this area. So I think we picked a good spot. So I think we picked a good spot. The first restaurant we went to, La Taverne Payette, a seafood restaurant in the heart of downtown Le Havre, hit all of the high points of French cuisine. From the moule frites, to the escargot, to the duck breast, and the hake, it was phenomenal. Let's see it. I got a cool. So what we've been noticing since we have been here in Europe this time around, uh, specifically in France, it feels like what America used to feel like. How everyone's kind of happy, out and about, riding bikes, laughing, getting along. We really miss that. And we feel like we're back, back in America, but in France. Look at that house. Wow, look at that. That is so neat. Is that neat? neat? It's not. I love that. So that's what like we're seeing tomorrow. It's a village or like a, yeah, a town that's just like that. We're going to Bord Bordeaux and we're going to Deauville. Mm -hmm. We're going to a couple, we'll let you know on the names when I can pronounce them better. Bouvron and Og, and it says that it's the cutest, picturesque city or little town to go to. And they have a fromagerie and a crepe place. If you're gonna go see a few different places during the day, this is a must stop because it is so picturesque. I uh, did get some soap, and it's milk of the donkey, aka a lot de anus. No, it's sweet. Sweet like a donkey. Something to keep in mind when you're going to Duval is parking. If you're driving your own car, it is a madhouse. So we are gonna try out some of this. <laughs> not finished. Oh, not yet. I'm sorry. So busy in here. Everywhere is busy, busy, busy. Lesson learned. We will get to Duval tomorrow morning so that we can get a parking spot to then go enjoy the beach, which the weather is actually Great. supposed to be warmer tomorrow. Yeah. Duval, thick to. This morning to try and find a parking spot, which after about what half an hour we finally did. We are going to eat at this lovely restaurant, La Plume de Mar. La Plume de Mar, and we shall see. The way it works is that you go up to each one, you eat at the place that you order because they'll assemble it for you in the manner in which you choose or which they choose. So whatever you pick, they prepare it. So what I did was I prepared, I picked six langoustines, some tacos, shrimp, and oysters. 
and then the various sauces come with it. So a bit of ice, and then you eat it. It's cold, but cooked. And there's all kinds of seating. Oh. Just pull it out? Pull it out. There you go. Bottoms up. Good, but... <laughs> if you have a texture issue... It's good. <laughs> it does taste like steak, though. Toilet says it's open. Ooh, okay. Red to lock. Wait. Okay, it's locked. Coming live from Duville Beach. It looks like there's a you can pay to play these fun little games. Oh yeah. Just children. Yes. But yeah, that's cool. There's trampoline. It looks like a bungee. There's a go kart thing right here. Wow, seafood nice. feast and plata. I definitely had my seafood fill for <laughs> for a while now. You don't want any more cockles? No, more cockles. <laughs> I think I ate 300 pounds of cockles. <laughs> so we are actually at Duville, not Duville. We got some chair rentals here. It was seven dollars a chair, which actually seems like a great deal. You got them from what, whatever time to five p.m. Yeah. So I mean, you really can't beat this. No. Nope, and beat look it. at that view. We're gonna post up and take a nap. Was that we went back to this uh, place for the baguette, which it almost has like a sweet almondy flavor. It's literally the best baguette I've ever had in my life. Chaise manuel, mignon. Boulanger. Boulanger. Pâtissier. Pâtissier. Uh, truffle ham. You can smell the truffle as it, as it comes from the place. That is the brioche. Brioche? Croissant. What's inside of it? That's a pain au chocolat. Drive at your own risk when coming to the Normandy region of France. These roads are very tight, very narrow. You've got to maneuver quite delicately through some of the very narrow streets. to Calvados Christian Durian. We're gonna check out the Calvados. We're really excited. It's locally made and everybody raves about it and you can only get it here and it's made out of apples. So you get that taste of it right free. So this one's really fun. It's about 15 minutes to walk the grounds, so we'll do that afterwards. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's good. She was just telling us inside that the apples or the bottles with the apple inside of it, they actually grow it inside. And you can leave the apple in there for a lifetime. All you have to do is keep refilling the Calvados. And the Calvados is the alcohol that is made by the apple. And we're on the apple orchard and it is so cool. There's so much history here. You guys have to check this place out. There's so much to tell you about it. And we got to do a free tasting. So they let you taste everything for free. And we bought a couple of bottles because it was actually really delicious. I'm shocked at how smooth it is. I hate hard alcohol. And I mean, it still kind of makes you like burn of the heart, but it is really buttery. Talking like Twist. Did that hit anyone? No, it didn't. But right down there. <laughs> Right in the street. street. Got this from the distillery that we went to. Wow, greater. I don't know if you. Yeah, we're at Point de. We're at Point de Hawk. Yeah, no, seriously. Oh. Yeah, uh, Point de Hawk. 
Uh, so we're on the on the trail of the World War II D-Day landing. This is the first sight. I give this place a 10 out of 10 because I've watched all the movies and to actually then see it in real life, it makes it that much more real and that much more impactful. And it is absolutely beautiful here. Uh, I, I would absolutely come back. Yeah. They say they storm Normandy. This is the beach. This yeah. is the most beautiful beach you could ever storm. Wow. This is unreal. something that we have learned on this trip it's always trial and error we did as much research as we could but we found that we want to stay in a place that has walkable food options everywhere so this has a few but they just haven't really been up to the standard and what we thought they were going to be so a better place to stay would be like Duval where every single place, I mean, you just have rows and rows and rows of every single restaurant. They're on the water, they're in the town. It's so beautiful to look at. It's been, this is kind of a sleepy, dead, we kind of- Very industrial it. town. Yeah, yeah. I second that. I think it's a bit of a letdown when it yeah. came to the food here. Because yeah. France is known for their food. And the food has fall, fallen quite short of the mark, so yeah, but, bit of a bummer. But today we went to Duval, and we literally just got a few meats from a place, a oh, piece from so another good. place, a baguette from another, and it is the best baguette I have ever had in my life. It's warm. We showed where we got them, so if you're ever there, check them out. But that's the best food that we've had so far, which is kind of odd. Yeah. But the food has been shocking. <laughs> bad shockingly bad which is just so surprising we we were really excited about this and the baguettes have been amazing some of the pastries have been amazing but the food in general yeah no mas worse I, I don't know if uh something happened in the last few years where the french people forgot how to cook but wow we just had it at a restaurant 2,000 reviews, about four stars on Google, and they couldn't cook a French fry to save their life. It was bitter. Terrible. It was bitter. What in the it's world bitter. is going on right now? It's been a, it's so been the downside like of this trip, obviously, was the food. Yeah. But the upside was the places that we went to were yes. incredible. Incredible. I would love to come back to France. Driving through the countryside, visiting Normandy, Going to the Christian Calvados, the distillery, I guess, Duville and Trouville. Going to the beach and sitting on the beach, all great. Walking through the seafood market that we went to today was excellent. But we're looking forward to London well, tomorrow. I mean, London. We will see you in London. See you.